either stay in the US and live with my green card pretty much, or I could move back to Europe and just forget about the green card. It's gonna expire pretty much if I'm not in the country. If I just gave it up right now, I would just lose like years of work. This kind of makes me feel like I need to be here. <laughs> like California is one of the states with the highest taxes, right? I have no idea where the money goes. Central LA is the only place I can really describe. It feels like a zombie apocalypse. That would just be like five people lying on the grass, like looking at the sky, like twitching. You have no idea if they have like a gun on them or if they have a knife. Like you have no idea. <laughs> That's the crazy Because like they have guns over there. I would never move back to England. No. Never. Unless I have to, unless I get like deported. I got interrogated for two hours by TSA. I thought I was going to go to prison because I lied to them. You did? What did you say? Like what happened? Wait, wait, people have been telling me today that I look British. Yeah, you you do. You do. I was going to say you look you you look like you're out of Downton Abbey and then I was like I mean it in a good way. <laughs> yeah. Like, I hear you would take it in a good way, but it is a good way. You look like you're out of Downton Abbey, but like without the headphones. Headphones didn't exist in Downton Abbey. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. But if I take them off. Yes. Now you look like you're from Downton Abbey. Yeah. Like you like Sipping on your tea. Not that we even have more tea yeah. than majority. Like, do Swedish people have a lot of tea? I feel like we're more coffee people. I mean, English people are more coffee people too. We got the stereotype such a long time ago, and I just, I don't know, I just never went away. But, um, how have you how think have you're more, we, oh, you're more of a coffee person? <laughs> oh, I'm not an anything person because, um, <laughs> because I, uh, I get very, uh, I'm very sensitive to substances. So, for example, when I moved to Australia, um, I had like two sips of Red Bull on my 21st birthday stream and um, <laughs> and I was awake for the entire 40 hour flight. I did. I could not sleep at all. It was really bad. Wait, your flight was 48 hours? Uh, no, it was 40. So it was like 40 hours of traveling. So I I was up for, I don't know, 13 hours. Um, OK, so so I woke up at midday as I used to do on my DGEN sleep schedule. Um, I got mm -hmm. ready. I, I streamed for like, how long did I stream for chat? Like 10 hours on my birthday stream. I had, <laughs> I left myself to pack all of my belongings, like all, everything I own. Mm -hmm. um, I left myself like three, four hours to pack. Um, and then and then I got a like a two hour taxi, three hours in the airport, 25 hours of traveling, uh, and then like two hours to the hotel that I was staying at. It was bad, but I didn't sleep for any it's of it. It's been pretty brutal for you. It's been, I feel like yeah. everything has been pretty, it's been a lot for you. It's been a lot of trouble. Yeah, you know, I, I feel like, you know, when I was like, I don't know, 15, 16, right? Like everyone would be like, oh yeah, catching, getting the tube is so hard. You know what I mean? You would get so much like praise <laughs> for like getting the tube or like navigating mm -hmm. a bus map. You know what I mean? So I feel like as a kid, I always thought like, I was smart <laughs> and then and then I like you know <laughs> overestimate my abilities and I'm like let's move on my own to the other side of the country or the other side of the world like surely it's gonna it won't be, be that difficult it's easy yeah because I've mm -hmm. always been told that like I can do stuff like that really well so um yeah adulting is hard will you, do you think you will be able to move back or you're just gonna be like now nah, I'm not doing this I'm not doing all of this shit again or I move elsewhere. Would, would you do it all again? I would never move back to England. Like I, I realize now. Never. Never. Unless I have to. Unless I get like deported. You know what I mean? Like every time, like every time, like I don't know. I, <laughs> I like nearly forget to scan a bag in the supermarket. I'm like, oh, I have to scan the bag because what if they tell me off for not scanning the bag and then sue me for shoplifting a bag and then I get deported and I can't ever go to Australia again. You know what I mean? I'm much more careful. Not that I, you know, stole anything before, but like, you know, maybe I accidentally forgot to pay for some Sainsbury's bags. Sue me. Um, and like now I would never do that because um, I'm really scared of getting deported. But optionally, of I would never choose to move back to England. Damn. It's just, I don't know. You, you've been to England before, right? I've been to England, yes. I've been to England three times, I think. It's just worse than every other, like the, the comparison between LA and Australia. I think Australia is an infinitely nicer place to live, but I think LA is an infinitely nicer place to live than London. That's how much I don't like London. Yeah. Yeah. And I was saying some things about LA, about, I, I, 
I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious about that. I want to hear about your trip to LA. Because okay. that was your first time in America. Yes. And, but it was for an award show. Mm -hmm. So it was probably, I mean, you probably didn't get like the real American experience for that reason. Oh, no, I did. Oh, Because I did. you were getting, you did, you did. Okay, mm -hmm. so tell us about it. Um, okay, so I thought, um, you know, being the smart traveler that I thought I was, um, I was going to stay in like the cheapest motel that I could find um, because I wanted to get like the, I don't know, like I've never stayed in a motel before, you know what I mean? I just want to see what it's like. I want to get the... <laughs> American experience so um so I stayed right in the center of well I stayed in Hollywood right because that's where the award show was um so I stayed very central and I stayed um in like this little motel and um okay on the first day well okay I got interrogated for two hours by TSA uh so that was you two know hours? a bad start to the trip yeah wait do you want to talk about like why why two hours Okay. Well, Usually I just stamp and they let you in. I unless know. you travel to America a lot. But this was the first time and they decided to keep you there for two hours. Did they like take you into like a separate room yeah. to like interview you really harshly? I thought I was going to go to prison because I lied to them. You did? What did you say? Like what happened? Wait, wait. Can we talk about this? Maybe this is... <laughs> no, we can talk about everything. I'm an open book. Yeah. I'm pretty... I feel like I don't see a reason why I wouldn't be allowed to talk about it, right? So, okay. So, um... I have heard, not naming any names, not doing anything, that a lot mm. of streamers go over to America and stream on something called an Esther visa, which you are technically not allowed to do. But I know so many people that do this, right? That does because do that. Mm -hmm. Work visas, they take... But they are hush-hush about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they take like 100 days to arrive and they're like more expensive and you might not get it and you might... So they take... So you have to know like months and months and months in advance, which I didn't. So I wouldn't have been able to get a work visa to go to the awards. So I decided I'm going to go and stream on a visa that I am not allowed to go over and stream. <laughs> you know, don't, 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 yeah. uh, don't do that in America. They uh, don't like that. But anyway, <laughs> they do not like that so whatsoever. Like, <laughs> I'm like... just gonna tell them that I don't stream. GG, easy. Um, like at all? Like, I'm just going to say that I'm unemployed and I'm not working and I'm just going over to see friends. Because I don't know. I'm pretty sure that's what other streamers do, right? They just say that they're not streaming because you're not allowed to stream. So I can't say that like... Or or you can say that you are a streamer, but you're not going to stream there because you know the rules. Yeah. I yeah. Know, instead of just... Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, you know, I didn't <laughs> think that, that way I would get interrogated. So um, I walk up to the little booth, okay? And um, he starts asking me questions. And, and you said more questions and my <laughs> lives fall apart and they oh, keep no. on falling apart and after a while he realizes that um i am lying i am fully finna start crying right now because i don't know like people in america are scary they have like uh, guns and big bulletproof fat. they just like i feel like tsa they're like made to intimidate you you know what i mean yeah of course so, yeah of course they are mm -hmm. yeah so <laughs> So, um, so I'm like proper shaking and like my eyes like watering so much. And he's like, I'm like, oh, I'm really sorry. I'm a streamer. I lied. Right. And he goes, that's fine. Like loads of streamers come through here. Like, that's fine. I don't know why you're freaking out so much. Like calm down. And I'm like, oh, oh, okay. Everything's going to be fine then. Chill. And then he hands my passport to a man behind him. And he goes, follow this man. He's gonna take you, like he's gonna take you oh. like down some corridors and ask you some questions. Mm -hmm. And then they proceeded to um, mm -hmm. look through my phone, look through my bank account and transactions and things. Asked me a ton of questions about why I moved to Australia. I don't know, it was like, <laughs> why would they, like, huh? Like, <laughs> what am I lying about here? Why do you need to look through my bank? I feel like some, I feel like they're just being nosy. I don't want to be like that, but like, they don't need to do that. So, so Berticus's friend, apparently, because I didn't know this until like I was in there, but her friend, she did the same thing, got interrogated, and they plugged her phone into a machine that scanned all of her messages. No way. I don't even know how that's legal. Like, what? Yeah, they don't I have no idea. I feel like that. 
I feel like if they did that to their American citizens, they would freak out and they would be like, people would rebel so hard against that because everyone cares so much about, you know, like private information staying private. Mm -hmm. So that's interesting. Uh -huh. um, I've, I've had this happen to me, I think twice, but one time like really harsh, but it was only because I'd been in the country so much that they thought it looked suspicious. Like I was uh -huh. trying to live there on an Esta visa, even though I'm not a citizen, pretty much. So they mm -hmm. they thought they started interrogating me that way, but then they realized, oh yeah, like my partner is American, and that's why I'm here. So it's like that situation. It's not like I'm trying to like Wait, avoid what did they doing ask something you here. In interrogation. Um, I think mostly like like why I'm there, but you know how they're they're very they're very like harsh. They're That's very so rude. Mean. They yeah. like insult you. They're, They're really mean. How a trip. Yeah. So oh you get gosh. really. Yeah, they do. They do. They do. They do. They absolutely do. But I realize it is really just like a play, because when they figured out, oh, she's just here because she wants to see her partner, like a lot, <laughs> pretty much. Mm -hmm. They were kind of like, oh yeah, I'm sorry. Like hope hope you guys figure it out so that you can stay here. You know, it was kind of like that. So it wasn't really. Because they chill out. Like, it's just like a character until, you know, they don't have to be like that anymore. That was my experience, I at think least. they like being like that. Like, okay, okay. How, how do you act around guys that power trip? Because I, I feel like, I feel like guys like, like, just like random men. I feel like they really like power tripping me. I don't know what it is about my personality, but I feel like guys really, some, some people who power trip a lot, they target me, right? It's like, it's like, say I'm IRL streaming in London and a security mm. guard <clears throat> comes up to me and starts shouting at me to turn my the stream off, right? Like, I don't know. I feel like if I was like a big mucho man, he wouldn't start shouting at me, right? And I'm like, I never know how to act. Do I, do I be like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Mm. And like give in to it and let them power trip. Because then I'm like, if you, I don't know, not argue back, but if you're like, you know what I mean? Then are they going to do it more? I never know how to act in those situations. I feel like it, I think it really depends from situation to situation because it could be like, hey, I'm going to end up in trouble if you don't turn off your camera because that's like my job to tell people to not have cameras on. That could be the case. Mm -hmm. I feel like when it comes to, when it comes to the border stuff, I think they have to because when people get nervous, they start saying shit and then it doesn't make sense. And then they start lying. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, maybe we should look into this person. So they kind of need to be that way. If it's just like a dude at the bar, I think that's just like, oh, his way of being liked by other people is to pretend that they're better mm -hmm. than you pretty much. And sometimes it works because some people just trust, you know, what people say. Yeah. Um so I, I think it all depends on like what it is, but I think for border control stuff, I think they kind of like have to, and it, I mean, it works. <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> maybe that's, maybe even, that's even if, people, yeah, target power trip me. Even, because... even if you were not the target, because uh, you were not like clearly the target of like trying to do something like super illegal in America or anything. But I mean, with that attitude, they're probably finding like lots of weird stuff going on. So I think they kind of have to, but it is, it is actually scary. And you feel so vulnerable and so weak and so out of control. It feels like you're in this like country and they're going to put you into prison and kill I you. Know. That's what it really feels like when you're talking to them. Because I lied to them. Like I technically did do something illegal. You I was said, like, you said you lied. <laughs> like, like, I, I, I feel like, yeah, I was, cause I was panicking the whole time. Cause I had to like wait like a while mm -hmm. before they like brought me into the room. I was listening to TMZ. Oh, it was like the only thing on the TV because you weren't allowed your phones. It's a different, America's a different world. Like I was just sat there in the interrogation room, like, like in the waiting room and TMZ was just on. I feel like it's a very different culture. Let's just say that. <laughs> but, um, but like, and you, yeah. yeah. And then you sit there and everyone in that room looks very interesting as well. I feel like everyone that sits in that room, it's like either someone that is actually doing something illegal or there's like, why are these people even there? Know. You know, it's everything is like very confusing. It's so funny. Everyone and everyone that's sitting there, some people are really nervous and some people are sitting there like it's their like 50th time like doing they're it. In, like they're I, in I think the that's cool hilarious. In detention. Yeah. Yeah, they're, yeah. They've just done this a million times before. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty funny. You know, I feel like 
that's kind of how I feel about the whole of America. Like in the nicest way possible. I feel like a lot of, cause, cause English people are much more like quiet. I feel like it feels like sometimes a lot more of them are like NPC. <laughs> Like no one in America is an NPC. Everyone is a main character. Like, I, I don't know if it's just because they're louder, but I feel like it's not just because they're louder. Like, I feel like they all just feel, they have bigger, they have much bigger personalities. You know what I mean? In America. But I think we were talking about this earlier on stream, like when I was streaming earlier, that I feel like it's more of an American culture to just, really show that you have a cool image like you have the the biggest things you have the most money you're so smart you're so successful and it's really important even if you have nothing it's really important that you have one thing that is like the best at what you're doing pretty much and i feel like that's like all american culture it's just like i need to be the best purpose in everything i'm doing and we don't have that in the same way in europe we don't like we don't we, it's almost cool to not be the best here <laughs> it's like I'm average and that's like what's trendy here compared to Americans that's like they they're very dramatic in that sense mm -hmm. you know you know I I feel like a thousand percent for a lot of Europe but something that actually really surprised me is I feel like that there's more like flashy cars in London than in LA like I feel like people really? flex maybe even more in London than LA. Like I feel like I feel like the I feel like yeah, it, the places that I've traveled in the rest of Europe, people definitely seem much more humble. But now I think about it, I think I never realized before because I was there. But like Australia, like no one has a flashy car. Like people are a lot more humble. But even <laughs> yeah. compared to LA, people try fle like people really try to flex with things like cars in London, and I never knew that was mm -hmm. a thing. But um. I, it's definitely a lot more it's a lot less safe <laughs> a lot less safe in LA oh my gosh I got catcalled more like I was telling you I got catcalled more in 10 minutes at like 6 a.m by the way which I don't know it's 6 a.m in Australia everyone's woken up everyone's fresh everyone's like walking their dogs <laughs> at 6 a.m in LA no one's gone to sleep yet and I live like I lived right. Well, yeah. I stayed right outside a strip club, so um, so that probably added to it. But like, no one goes to sleep uh, like until I don't know a long time. They were all awake at six a.m. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it was it was definitely an experience. I that there were more. I feel like there were more dudes that like honk and more dudes that like shout than dudes that don't on the street. It's it's awful. I, it's it's a pretty hardcore. I, I think it depends on which city you are in America, of course. But I think the most catcalling I've seen is probably LA and Miami, from mm -hmm. my experience. Just the absolute most of it. And it's so scary, especially if you're alone. It's terrifying. But also Hollywood is really bad. Yeah. In my experience, yeah. <laughs> Hollywood is awful when it comes to... Like, I, you, was... I, I almost got attacked by a woman that was homeless, that was on drugs when I was about to go to the clinic. I was just like walking from my Uber and it was like, it was like literally a one minute walk. And I, I was like on my phone texting and I just see someone like come towards me like really fast and really close. And I look up and it's just like this crazy woman on drugs. She has like blood all over her. What? I don't know why. And I'm kind of like, whoa, you know, and I just, I just like started running because it was like, what the fuck is going on? And basically what she was doing was that I think she she was really high on drugs and she was also going to the clinic because she was getting help there or something like that. Uh -huh. I'm not entirely sure what it was, but it was kind of like, it was like in the middle of Hollywood and it was like really freaky and disgusting. <laughs> and I was like, I, this is not good. I'm, I need to like watch out for where I'm going. I have never experienced anything like this. Like this is like a wild place, yeah. but Los Angeles is a lot like this. It's it's just the way it is over there. Uh, with mm -hmm. blood all over. Okay, I didn't see anyone with blood on them. But like, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like the I feel like the way that I could describe like Holy Hollywood's the only like real place that oh uh, and Santa Monica, but like Central LA is the only place I can really describe. But mm -hmm. the way I feel like describing it is it's very pretty in its own way. It's like a nice city, but it feels like a zombie apocalypse. Like I would walk out of my motel and there would just be like five people 
lying on the grass, like looking at the sky, like twitching. And everyone, yeah. everyone yeah. was on stuff. Like everyone's just like walking in slow mo, and then they just like lie down in the grass and grin. <laughs> like the whole city feels like slow-mo it's it's like i've never experienced anything like it before it's it's very surreal you know what i mean but then but then because everyone's on stuff like i feel like you never know i've in a way it feels safe because everyone's moving in slow-mo and you're like i could outrun i could outrun (laughs) this dude he's in slow-mo anyway but (laughs) but um like you never know people's next move you know what i mean because they're not very like that's the thing it's really scary you don't really know if they're like carrying something you have no idea if they have like a gun on them or if they have a knife like you have no idea that's the crazy like they have guns over there yeah yeah (laughs) yeah no you know what i'm really happy that i didn't think too much about that because um because if i thought oh yeah like i i just kind of like walked past these people like oh i could outrun him because like he's like really slow (laughs) at the moment but then yeah like i couldn't outrun a gun <laughs> so that's a good point and i'm pretty yeah. sure so so but said that like by her hotel she heard gunshots i mean I, it's yeah was that also in hollywood <laughs> yeah 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 that was yeah it was dude hollywood. hollywood is a dark place there's a lot of dark stories there's a lot of dark stories like of la in general have you ever, mm. did you ever, um, did you ever walk around in downtown? Uh, I don't know what downtown LA. So I was on Sunset. That's like the big buildings. Yeah. yeah. But like the, you know, like around the big, big, big buildings that you mm, see. I don't think so. No. No. So there's like this, there's this area in downtown LA called Skid Row. Yeah. And it's just oh, famous. You know yeah, what it yeah, is. Yeah. Sorry. I did. No, yeah, I did. You I know am. what it is. Yeah. Mm. And it's like, yeah, that's like where all the zombies are and the slow motion people. But that is actually, it's like a terrifying place. And it feels, it feels like, um, what do you call it? Um, if, if you get this, like, almost like a Blade Runner feeling. It's like the future and it's really sad. Mm, like, it literally kind feels of, like a movie. Mm. Like, it feels like a zombie apocalypse. Yeah. And the thing that I don't understand, yeah. why do, why is everyone in tents? Like, I've never seen tents before. You know what I mean? Like, I've never, yeah. even, I don't know, like, <laughs> seen like why do they all have tents and it's warm as well like surely i don't know the count i don't know maybe it's just naive i don't know how the problems got so bad though the council could do the, something and- the thing that i'm the thing that i'm really curious about is this there okay so california is one of the states with the highest taxes right mm. i have Where's i have going? no idea where the money goes <laughs> i have no idea where the money goes like the roads are kind of awful the build like some air like some buildings are awfully looking as well like they need to fix a lot of shit they have tons of homeless people and people are paying really high taxes like, like really high europe <laughs> yeah like 30 yeah like exactly like 30 percent, 40 50 like depending on how much you're making i have no idea where it's going they don't really have like a functional public transport either i really have no idea where the money goes no i understand new york i under i get new york yeah. i get it because they they have the public transport and they, they try at least you know nothing it's not perfect but i feel like i understand where it's going but California, I have no idea. I have no idea where the money goes. It is <laughs> so literally impossible to get around LA. Yeah. I walked for like two hours because I was really hungry and I wanted to get food. <laughs> and I couldn't find a single place. Like all the buildings are just empty. And I feel like that's a lot of America as well. It's like, they're not like empty, but they're just nothing. You know what I mean? There's like, nothing there. You can walk there. Yeah. for ages and you don't find anything you want. And then so I walk for like two hours. I'm like really tired because I was like, oh, I'm just going to pop out for food. Couldn't find any food. Mm-hmm. And I was like a $50 Uber back. What? <laughs> and I'm used to Australian dollars as well. So I'm used to like looking at the dollar sign and halving it because it's like dollars to pounds in Australia is half. <laughs> and I look at the dollar signs. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's not half a pound. <laughs> no oh. it's it's really expensive and like as I, I i talk about this so much and i feel like americans don't get me when i say this like the way to get around in the states is awful like it's like we are so lucky in europe that we can just take a bus or we can take the train or we can just walk or we can just bike 
you cannot do that in a lot of American like cities. You can't. It's impossible, especially not LA. Mm-hmm. LA is really, really bad. And also, when you're getting into a taxi or an Uber, the traffic is insane as well. Mm-hmm. You can like normally if you would go, I don't know what else, but like if you if you would go like a ten minute drive, um, in Sweden would take about like two hours. Mm-hmm. over there it's wild like because you're stuck you go weird ways it's it's what like it, nothing works it's so bad um yep. la is definitely one of my least favorite cities <laughs> in the world and then they will uh, look at you when you drive past as well like wh- the thing that i don't understand i don't want to say american mm-hmm. men because it's not american men but it's just central la men <laughs> Wh- what do they think <laughs> they're gonna get out of like like sometimes they like pull over honk and then drive off. Like what? What do they? What do you? What are you gonna get out of that? Like what are you gonna get out of like shouting at mm-hmm. like a girl walking by? Like you, the thing that I always wonder is like, do girls like come up to them and start talking? Because okay, it's not always like really bad. Like it's not always catcalling. It's like okay, say I'm like walking down the street, right? And there could be a guy like. Ooh, that's a pretty jacket. And I don't know what to do, so I'm like, thanks. And then he's like, hey, come over here and let me take a look. Like, <laughs> like, to go, like, I don't get it. What's his success rate? Surely, surely there's a reason that he does it. So like, do girls come over? I just don't understand. I think, okay, I think this is how they think. It seems, this is, this seems to be the common answer. And it's like, it just feels so silly, but this is a common answer to this. Why do, why guys do this? They think if a girl walked up to me and and <laughs> said that, I would be so happy. Bruh. Here's the pro- here's the problem though. Mm-hmm. Is that it's not anything like it. Like it's just not like that. Mm-hmm. The reality is if you are walking down the street and then there's this big dude, he's like three times stronger than you and he starts whistling and screaming at you that you have a nice ass. <laughs> that is like the experience women experience. He has a nice ass, though. Yeah, exactly. Do you? And then I asked these guys, like, do you really want some big, large dude that can easily take advantage of you to start whistling and commenting on the way you look in a very sexual way? Because yeah. if the answer is no, you're not doing that to women. Yeah. Because that's exactly what they feel. <laughs> Yeah, they did not ask for your opinion. They did not dress up for you either. So you have nothing to say about that. Mm. Like, and like it's easy. You can just you can give a compliment. Like, hey, I really like your dress. It's really pretty. And it's oh, thank you. And then you you go like, and then you separate ways. Mm-hmm. But the way that they're doing it is so disgusting. It's, <laughs> it's just always weird. like so vulgar. Just <laughs> so confident. Like, hey, come over here. I really like your <sighs> yoga pants, girl. Come over here. Oh, that's good. Do you have a boyfriend? That shit is just like, ugh. It is no, like, no, no, that's no, what no, I no. No one likes understand. that. Like, why is it that so much more in America? I feel like I feel like American dudes are just built different like okay okay sometimes it, it's they do they do it in a, a nice okay okay for example i think i got more compliments irl than i have a half in my entire life just like i don't know like i'd be like walk i'd be like walking down the street and then there'd be like a guy on his bike and he'd be like excuse me pretty lady and i'm like ah, did he just call me pretty lady people are flush spinny i don't think i've ever been called that in public in my life before <laughs> like a random person <laughs> maybe like love or something but like but like mm-hmm. i don't know they all use like a lot of like um not pet names but they like call you stuff you know what i mean <laughs> and it's disgusting <laughs> it's so bad it's so it's so uncomfortable mm-hmm. god so many times when i used to live in miami it was pretty bad um because i i used to go for this walk to go to a jiu-jitsu place and it was like a 10 15 minute walk which was like not too bad for America to walk, but the amount of times cars would pass by, and this was like in the little Havana. So it's like right. a little bit of the hood, a little bit, not too much, but like a little bit. It, it looks it looks a little messy over there. So the cars would drive by and they would honk and stuff. 
God, I would get so upset. I, I think at some point I started screaming back at them and I was just upset or I just gave them a finger and it was hilarious. I, th- I thought that was funny, but I, bro, I got so upset. I just wanted to go to my jujitsu training. I did not, you know, I did not dress up for them. Why did they think that they, you know, that they can, like, I don't understand. It's, it's just like, ugh. Mm-hmm. but I think it feels good because they're in the car. They feel like they have a power over you. They feel like that they can show themselves to you and they could just drive away pretty much. I feel like it's it's a bit of a power move there as it's well like, that they might like. like. I'm not uh, sure. It's like first time chances <laughs> on Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so like, like they're like in their little bubble, right? It's like the first time a message. Up. No one knows who they are. They haven't got like they haven't built up a reputation or anything. They just like say one message and then leave and never come back. Yeah, it reminds me of first time chatters. And it's always some really dumb question that's kind of there's like a misspell there as well. Yeah, Which, uh, yeah, and it's like are you? They're probably like ten, maybe. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and they just like they they don't have their parents watching over them and they just get to like type something out. I feel like it could be something like that. <laughs> mm, yeah. <laughs> do you feel like do something you feel like, like that. <laughs> American guys are more or less romantic? Because they're definitely more confident. Hmm. hmm. This might be me judging them really hard, but this is my experience from living there for about five years. I feel like American men are trying to impress a lot harder. And the reason to why I think that is, is also because like, I think the, the as I said before, the culture is le- really heavily on being the best at things, being the smartest, being the prettiest, being the having the biggest car you know it's very like i'm the best 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 best. so it's all about like the image of impressing Hmm. so whenever i've been on dates with american guys i feel like i'm sitting down and they're just kind of talking about themselves trying to impress and it doesn't really feel like i'm relevant at all (laughs) they're just like in there in their in themselves thinking that yeah just they're just babbling and they think they're doing a great job because all they're trying to do is just like to talk about themselves (laughs) themselves <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. instead of asking questions so for me it doesn't feel very romantic it kind of just feels like this is a game that they're playing right now they're going to try mm-hmm. their hardest for me to sleep with them that's kind of what it feels if it's like a game it doesn't feel very romantic they could say things or do things that seems romantic but it feels just like you're only doing that because you want something from me and it's very 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 clear it doesn't feel like this is like you know a normal um <clears throat> natural tension that's coming up from our chemistry it's not that at all it's actually just them trying to almost manipulate me it's just talking about themselves in a very you know high way for me to like them and i mean i feel like it's kind of just like they got taught this so this is what they do kind of so it it doesn't feel very real it feels very robotic it feels very fake to me that's mm. that's a lot of not all of them of course but i feel like this this is like a lot stronger than other places i've been <laughs> my, yeah. people might hate me people might hate me for this one but that I, is that's a my complete generalization <laughs> yeah it's not everyone of course not it's course not but but i feel like i feel like i, I sense that a lot stronger so in my opinion i'm having a harder time connecting with americans because they are very like they're very, you know, it's it's very important for them to have this image of being the best. So they, they're not really thinking about the actual relationship <laughs> or their needs or the other person's needs. It's just like, I'm going to try to convince this person that I'm the best. Like of. being character energy. Because mm. mm-hmm. cause like, I, I remember you saying that like, um, like it's more difficult to make friends. And loads of people say that it's more difficult to make friends in LA. Obviously I was in LA for a week, so like, I don't think I'm going to make friends. <laughs> like, I made one <laughs> friend, but like, like I don't know. Why Why is it so much more difficult to make friends in LA? Like, is it just Did the you kind feel of that people way? that come to LA? Mm, okay, so 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 there was this one girl. I, okay, I don't want to like, she was nice. She was nice. She was, she was, she was. But, but so I was like uh, getting my nails done because this was the day before stream rewards and they looked really crusty. So like I was I was mm-hmm. I was getting them done to the stream rewards and she was sat next to me, and um we started talking and she like I don't know we we're making small talk and then I started just babbling because that's just what I do um, and she seemed nice so I was just babbling and she seemed to like kind of not that interested right and then I was like what's your Instagram and I added her on Instagram and she like checked her phone and as soon as soon as she saw my Instagram she like. Com- completely changed like i'm a nobody i'm not saying anything but like i don't know just because 
like I don't know, I had more followers than she thought or something. She completely changed. And she was like, da 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 da, come out with me tonight, do something with me tomorrow, da da da. And she was like, not the same person before that. And I'm like, um, is this what people mean? <laughs> Yeah, like yeah I mean, they, they all go to LA and they all live in LA for a reason, right? Mm. Everyone has this like American dream of becoming an actor or a singer or an influencer or whatever because LA is so cool. And all, they, they go there for that reason and all of them kind of act that way. So if they meet someone that is successful, you're going to be valued a lot higher in a lot of people's eyes because you're you're bigger up on the, you know, um. And you were probably, you know, like humbling yourself, acting very just normal. Like, yeah, <laughs> you weren't I, acting like, like a celebrity. Say I was a so she did. Yeah, my yeah, yeah. Thousand things. Exactly. So <laughs> when she realized, <laughs> then she probably, yeah, wanted to be, come closer with you, but not for you because she didn't like you as you. She only liked you when she saw the numbers. So it's, it's really sad, but it is the way it is. So. Like, I, I, I don't know. I don't <clears throat> understand. Like, I, yeah, I feel like that would definitely get to me if I was there for a reasonable amount of time. But like, I think now I've been there, I've realized how good Australia is. Like, okay, there are definitely things that would be amazing. Like, there's so many people in LA that I would love to hang out with. And being in America, I feel like it's just easier for streaming as well. But... It's also five times the price. <laughs> it's like you're gonna you're gonna miss out on like friendships that are just friendships hmm. because everything is gonna be work and everyone is gonna use each other for work. <laughs> also, it's just <clears throat> it's gonna be really hard to have real friendships. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, because you don't know. Because like, okay, say like she say she met me after knowing who I was. Ugh. I'm literally I hate saying that. It's so cringe. But like, but like, clearly she changed the way. Like, I'm nobody, but she changed the way like she acted. Right. And it's like, mm -hmm. imagine she saw my Instagram and then met me. I would never know that she's only like that because of that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then you just wouldn't know. For sure. And then you just always question everything. But um, yeah, it's like also this, it's crazy how many rich people there are in the world. <laughs> when I went to LA, I realized how many rich people there are. It's like, what? Like me and Bert were traveling for- And you see the difference hour. too. It's crazy. Like imagine being in like a 50 million pound house. And going through Skid Row, how could you be like content? Like how? And it's so close by. Also, that's like the weird thing. Is like you can just you know get from one place to another in such a short amount of time, and you see like mansions, and then you see just like these people are never going to have anything remotely close to what like an average person in in England does. You know, like mm -hmm. it's like it's just it's just crazy. It's wild. The craziest thing also is you can lose everything in one day. If you get hurt and you, and you need like healthcare, like you have to pay everything you own. It's wild. Or you get in depth or whatever. You could never, you know, like have an education. Like there's like so many things. It's just like there's so many things that a lot of Americans just can never do because they don't have money. Yeah, like I slept it's over really, on it's the really last sad. day and, I'm, and I like partially dislocated my shoulder. Good job it went back in. But I like I like slightly dislocated my shoulder. I was like, mm, if I was in England right now, I probably would go to the, <laughs> I probably would go to the hospital, but um, oh well. <laughs> but it's like, ah, oh, like I don't know how people can be content seeing all these like really down, like, not doing very well people and then they like drive past and go to that like because oh my gosh it's like endless you can drive through beverly hills for like 40 minutes and all of these houses are above 10 mil mm -hmm. like i never realized there were so many people in the world i mean obviously there are a lot of people in the world but i never realized there were so many people in the world that had that much money like what it's crazy like I feel like there are more big houses in Beverly Hills or like expensive houses in Beverly Hills than there are in the whole of England. <laughs> it's crazy. And it's like, a, it's, there's a lot of people, but there's a lot of people in London too. I feel like when you go to London, it feels really big as well. Mm. That's my experience. I, I feel like I'm in London. It feels like a really big city, like a very, very big city. There's like different areas and big buildings. Not Not as big as like American cities, but it feels like a big city to me. It does. I feel like London is big. Because I feel like it's pretty central. Apparently, like, I didn't even know this until, like, two days ago. But did you know that London is 
the second okay maybe i'm gonna get this wrong everyone's gonna be like lol no it's not i heard somewhere <laughs> that london is the second biggest financial sec, sec, city okay maybe that's wrong oh it's new york anyway Do they, does anyone know in chat if this you is know true? what london is big okay it is big but then it's like i i know one of like i i know someone like uh like a streamer um who she spends nine thousand pounds i don't know what that is, like what like twelve thousand dollars thirteen thousand dollars a month on rent in london and it's like a flat like it's it's like a it's like a okay i don't want to talk so okay, okay but it's like it's like a like a penthouse yeah but it's not <laughs> like crazy big like what and it's just so ah! much money like, but I, I, if you got that in LA, that would be even more. But like, what? So yeah, I don't know. I feel like I never want to live in a really, really big city because like, it's just like, if, if I didn't eat very much in LA. <laughs> because the food, because it was so expensive. <laughs> the food, I literally could not justify it. Like I got, so, so I didn't have a cook or anything and I didn't want to go out to restaurants because that's just too expensive. Mm -hmm. And like, I was just on my own. So like, I was just like, okay, I'm just going to have like some sushi from... Ra Ralph's it was like Ralph's or something I was gonna have some sushi from Ralph's every day so I got sushi and I got shout out to sushi from Ralph's <laughs> I got sushi and I got a bowl of fruit like that was $35 so if I ate as much as I ate at home which is probably like three times that I would be paying over $100 for what like some sushi every day what, huh $100 a day on food or more than on food yep I don't I, yeah. I do not know how people do it like 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 you could be living <laughs> lavish like if you are not living that well in LA you could be living lavish yeah. somewhere else so yeah I, I was thinking about this quite a bit because it was like okay so I was in a state before where I could either stay in the U.S. And like live with my green card pretty much and just get a citizenship in 10 years if I want that. Or yeah, it's, it's going to take like a long time to get it. Or yeah. I could move back to Europe and just forget about the green card. But then I will forget about the green card. Like it's it's going to expire pretty much if I'm not in the country. So it's like, hmm, OK, what should I do? So if I move to Sweden, I'm going to be paying a lot of taxes, like a lot of taxes. But I'll be around my friends and family. And, you know, like I can I can live kind of cheap, but it doesn't cost like like the rent here is not as bad as it is in like other big cities in the states or whatever um or i <clears throat> live in the u.s i don't pay very high taxes but the food is gonna be so expensive if i want to live like in a city where something is going on you know especially with my work and there's like signal um so the food is gonna be really expensive the ubers are gonna be so expensive there's not going to be any, any public transport for me to take unless I live in New York. But New York is also really expensive, like really, really, really bad. So it's like, OK, what would be smart here to do like money wise? And I was thinking because I was like, OK, if I move to Sweden, I'm going to have to pay high taxes. So like I'll lose money on that. But you know what? Friends and family is a lot nicer and like a functional place where I can get around and just go for a walk. That's like amazing for me i do not care about the high taxes plus i'm gonna have to pay so much money and rent ubers food everything it's gonna be horrible and if i ever wanted to travel anywhere it's gonna be so expensive as well if i wanted to try to fly to another state where i have other friends or if i ever wanted to like go visit in sweden it was so expensive as well so i was like mm -hmm. no I'm, I'm giving the green card off so i give it up <laughs> and people yeah. have never heard of that never people have never heard of people get like giving up green cards because they think that America is the best country in the whole world and everyone wants a green card. I, I gave that up. <laughs> I'm not, like, I'm not doing that. I think Europe is so much better. <laughs> it's yeah. just so much better for me. Yeah, I wanted to live in America for a really long time as well. But I feel like the process of getting a green card is just not worth <laughs> Like, getting married, yeah. Like, if I met someone in America, yeah, obviously. But, like, then again, like, that's also really difficult to meet someone in America, I feel like, unless you want to get married immediately. <laughs> Like, like you could be like, oh, I get married, you get a Greek card. Like, if you like someone in America, but like, how do you know if you like them in America? It's not like you can like, like spend a lot of time with them because America doesn't let you. <laughs> that and, and like the process takes a very, very long time. And 
I feel like the hardest thing for me was like when my relationship was kind of rocky, I started to feel like, oh, but we've gone so far in this whole green card process. <laughs> if I just gave it up right now, I would just lose like years of work. And it's like, shit, this kind of makes me feel like I need to be here. <laughs> like, even though I kind of feel unhappy in this, I feel like I have to, because what if I leave and then I regret it and then I have to restart everything? Yeah. Like there was like a lot of, you know, it was like a contract that held me stuck. Mm-hmm. And I was thinking all the time, like, I really don't like this place. I really don't like the US. I just really don't like this. This is it's like so many things I really, really don't like. Mm-hmm. And I have no one that understands me either because most people around me are American and they never traveled anywhere before. They, the only places they've gone to is like Canada. <laughs> yeah. <because laughs> That's like how exotic they get. Everything like on paper is in America. So they don't have a reason to like travel. Majority of the people I talk to haven't like didn't haven't ever been out of the u.s and like yeah i don't know this stuff this stuff like you just can't explain it's just it's just different it's different it is do you, very do you know the the fun the absolute funniest thing is this one too okay so i was friends where i am friends with an irish girl and we were at a party this is hilarious to me we were at a party and we were just like chatting with people and um i think someone asked her like oh so like where are you from and she said i'm oh like i'm irish and some other girl was like oh i'm also irish and she was like oh so like where are you from in ireland and she was like oh no like i'm not from ireland but i am irish like my grandpa's grandpa grandpa was irish so i am actually irish it's like oh my god like they do this all the time like they always do like i'm this and this and that it's like you're american dude you grew up in america like your grandparents grandparents might have been something yes because that's kind of literally the whole country yep. but you, like it just feels so strange i mean all they're americans like, are english <laughs> yeah, <'cause> yeah. <laughs> like, oh like i'm british like yeah i'm also british like excuse, like like i'm from england yeah they always do this it's like the, Ita- the italians like the italians do that i'm so dramatic because <laughs> i'm italian like Italian 100 years ago, like my, yeah. you know, my family relatives are. It's like, yeah. Oh, and I feel, I really feel that. I feel that way. It's like, I, I was like, you know, a European in the States. <laughs> they, they, they really want that. It's just so funny to a me. I think that's different. Really a little bit of, a little yeah. bit of, yeah. But I different. get it. I get it. I feel a little bad. Like, I, I, I understand because they, they have, you know, America culture is like a real culture. It really is. Mm-hmm. But I think I think it feels fun to be a little unique sometimes. And I feel like Europeans have a lot more. Like we have a lot of like a lot more culture. We have a lot yeah. more languages. We have a lot more cool bellings. And, you know, I mean, so I yeah. feel like especially in terms of like the food, it's like, OK, OK. So I got like fried chicken, right? It was mm. like it was like also when Ralph's, you know, I just went to the shop every day and just got some food i don't know to be fair i couldn't stream i couldn't do anything so i was just stuck in my motel all day like i don't even know what i did to be fair i was just stuck in my motel all day and um and so and so i went to get some fried chicken and i was just bored while i was in the queue and i looked at the ingredients (laughs) this chicken had chlorine it had bleach no it had anti frothing agent in, in the chicken <laughs> why 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 do i need to anti froth my chicken <laughs> but like there, there's a lot of questions there's, there's a lot of questions <laughs> but like the like i don't know the the health requirements i feel like for food are like it's a lot eat like it's a lot more difficult to eat healthy you know what i mean like i'm eating bleach why just Put some chicken and put it in a box and give it to me and I'll be happy. And the thing is, it didn't even taste any nicer. Like, honestly, it, it tasted pretty bland. Mm-hmm. It didn't even taste like anything. Huh? I mean, chat said it's so they can, like, um, get lower quality chicken or whatever and make it cheaper. But, like, surely they would have some, I don't know, standards in place to stop everyone getting sick. I don't know. People are shrugging. Do you, uh, in England, do you refrigerate the eggs or do you do you not do that? I refrigerate do you have, like, my when eggs, you, yeah. You do? Yeah. But like when you when you get them from the store, are they in the fridge or are they just no, out? Out. They're out. Is yeah. That bad? They don't do that in America either. No, no, it's not. But in America, it's bad. So if you ever buy eggs in America, always put it in the fridge. 
Because I put it in the fridge, like, when I buy them. But, like, when you go to the store and buy them, they're not in the fridge. But th- but they are in America because they have to. And I had no idea. I didn't know this. Wait, so I actually kept eggs out for a long time eggs. when I was in America. I There's, like, the... What's the disease? an egg. <laughs> I didn't think they, like, put stuff in it. What? What's... <laughs> What what do they put the in that? know eggs? what I'm talking. Chambers know what I'm talking about. I, I I'm not. I think Sha- there's like a higher like salmonella? there's like a disease. What is it? Salmonella. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's like a higher risk of salmonella in America. I'm not entirely sure why. What? I have no idea why, but it's not like that. It, it's not like that in like Northern Europe. Maybe, that, maybe that's why they bleach their chicken as well. <laughs> what? Is it more common to get it, or you just they just bleach everything? Yo, that's I have crazy. No idea. <laughs> This is what I mean. I didn't. I don't know. I feel like. I feel like moving to America. I would definitely feel a lot less healthy. Like I. I feel like I was there for six nights. I feel like I gained. Like I don't. I don't know how much is like a a bad amount to gain. I don't know. Like three pounds. I think I gained three pounds in six days. <laughs> Not that I like, you know, look away a lot, but like, that's she that's gained three stones, lot, guys. Right? <laughs> like, 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 m- like morning, like weighing morning to weighing morning, three pounds and six. That's like half a pound a day. That's like mm. kind of crazy. Right? Considering I was eating a lot less because food is expensive, so I like didn't want to spend money on food. Considering that, that's like what? And I was eating healthy. I was eating like <laughs> sushi, huh? But um, yeah. And the stream rewards meal. That was very yummy, actually. The stream rewards meal. That was, was yummy. Like, that was like the actual, that was the actual only decent good food that I think I had the entire time. <laughs> but um, yeah, the stream rewards was, it was amazing. I want to hear about it. I want to hear about the stream rewards. Yeah. I messed up my speech. I I <laughs> literally, the, the main yeah. reason I came to LA was for the, well, I mean, the reason I came to LA originally was for the stream rewards. <laughs> And I got there, I couldn't stream for six days, and then um, I had five seconds on stage, and I messed it up. Kind of bad as well. I didn't so even realize was, it was bad. How was the experience to mess up in front of all the streamers? Well, okay, to be fair, I didn't even realize that I messed up that bad. I was like, oh, I did a little fumble, but like, I didn't really think it was that much of a fumble, right? And then I got off stage and everyone kept on saying how bad I messed up and I got like hate that I messed up and I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't Wait, realize. They were, saying that, like, in sh- they were saying that in chat or they were saying that like the people there were saying that? Like DMs and like, yeah, like people there were saying that and like, oh, it was just, ooh. So, okay. So, so in short, <laughs> that there are four nominees, right? And, um, and, and three of them couldn't make it. So I, yeah. bef- so I, I, before I announced the winner, I announced that the winner couldn't make it. You see what I mean? <laughs> so yeah. one of the contestants was disqualified, which I knew I messed up, but I didn't realize how much I messed up until I got off stage and I realized that there was actually a big deal. And I had five seconds on stage and GG. And now I just got more haters. Great. Cool. <laughs> but- Wait, actually haters. You got haters from this. But it's like a mess up. Like if people do that all the time, what do you mean? You like, get haters I mean, for messing up. I don't know. I, like, yeah. Like you got like haters from it. Oh, yeah, or, like, yeah, yeah. Did people... Wait, yeah. really? Because, yeah, yeah, I did. I mean, it has nothing. So, 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 so Anna was the one that was there. And um, I love Anna. I watch Anna a lot, right? I don't know mm-hmm. anything about chess, but like, I, I watch her as a content creator, right? I really like her. But I yeah. don't know. I guess like there are some people that are just unconnected. I feel like people just, if they want to hate on you, they just find a reason to hate on you. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I did. I did. But um, yeah, that was my five seconds on stage. I, um, oh, what else happened? It's very, very, very surreal to see streamers in real life. It's like, cause some people are so much like they are on stream. And I guess there are some people that aren't so much like they are on stream, but I honestly feel like the people that aren't how they are on stream, I feel like they, how do I say this? I feel like their personality is how they are on stream, right? Because you spend so long on stream. I feel like you can't fake your personality, Mm -hmm. but maybe first impressions or like 
being around a lot of people, they act very different. Like there were definitely some um, big egos. There were definitely some big egos. <laughs> But there were also we're not saying any people. names. Not saying any names. <laughs> we're not saying any names. No. But yeah, there were definitely some big egos. But there were also some like really, really nice people, and I did get to know a lot of streamers better. Which is oh, what's so frustrating about LA because it would be so cool to like do more things with these people. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, it's just why do they have to be there? Why can't they be in? Australia elsewhere yeah I know right I don't I don't understand why they have to pick that horrible place no because I get it like for, I, I, yeah I get it for um like like Hollywood like I understand that if you're in Hollywood you have to be that if you sing you have mm -hmm. to be that but why do you have to be there like, like if you YouTuber? sing right yeah yeah you don't you don't have to be there why can't they all just like why can't we all just move to I don't know the North Pole why don't we hang out in the North Pole together you know what I mean <laughs> anyway <laughs> yeah mm, but i feel like yeah i messed up my speech it was it was it was sick like you know you know things always look so different like in real life compared to on stream you know what i mean like for example like <laughs> like like i'm behind a green screen right now right like i'm in like a a very a very scuffed my scuff, my setup is very scuffed the stream rules wasn't scuffed at all but it was like so different from how i watched it last year do you know what i mean like everything yeah. looks different it's like i thought the tables would be so like big and scary but it's not like everyone's just having conversations and like talking while people are on stage mm -hmm. you're just like chilling talking to everyone at your tables but then but then they only film when like the people like and like clapping loads so it looks so like formal it's really not that formal like you get up walk around hang out in the lose for a bit i don't know <laughs> just do what you do it's, it's really not that i don't know mm -hmm. yeah it's, it's, so who who did you meet like which streamers did you hang out with that know. you enjoyed spending time with i hung out with that everyone. you never like met before okay uh everyone ludwig cutie hassan i mean i like met all these people like hi i'm lydia blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um <laughs> Emmeru, i loved meeting Emmeru. um uh emma langevin uh i met code miko i met daily dose of internet and then i um i i splattered on my face on the concrete in front of him so that was cool i shall never be showing my face around there again even though i watch daily dose of internet every single day and i have to remember the time that i splattered my face in front of him that was cool mm -hmm. on the concrete that was the time that i like <laughs> partially dislocated my shoulder but obviously i didn't say that i partially dislocated oh, my shoulder. oh that's what you did yeah so, so basically see. um code miko invited us all like a, a lot of her friends out to like a restaurant and um a vegan restaurant i've never been to a vegan restaurant mm -hmm. before it had like it was like never. oysters and it was like chicken and spaghetti and i ordered it and then and then it came and it wasn't actually oysters and chicken and spaghetti it was fake oysters and chicken and it was it. fake how the heck did they fake oysters i've never seen a fake oyster before. i mean I, to be fair it did not taste it did not taste the same <laughs> but um yeah. oh it didn't no like not at all it looked the same like it looked identical but it did not taste anything the same like the like the chicken like vegan chicken is like it's like mushy it, you, mushy you would, you would never not be able to tell i have no taste buds and i would never not be able to tell but um yeah and then and then i forgot my bag so then so then we went to get like ice cream from oh my gosh la actually has okay one thing i love about la is they have like the cutest little like 24 7 ice cream shops so there's like, i no know one. it's really nice it's adorable so like anytime you can like just go get ice cream it's actually yeah it's adorable and um and um so um so we were like all hanging out at this little like ice cream shop with like machines that's how they like make the ice cream and um i was like oh guys hello um i'm really sorry but i forgot my bag in the restaurant and they were like oh my gosh okay so then we started like we like went through the door to get my bag and that was like a concrete like, concrete and it was like really slippy as well and i just went splat and they were like are you okay and i was like yep yeah i'm fine i'm okay i still have like bruises all down my Wait, really <laughs> this is gone but like yeah all of my hip and stuff i have bruises and i woke up and, and my shoulder still feels kind of weird so i feel like it's actually not fully back in like it looks fully back in i don't know what to do. i don't have health insurance in australia either so like gg i'm just you, gonna sleep when I'm you, because you probably you probably should get health insurance in australia <sighs> now that you're gonna yeah, live the forever you're never gonna go back to the uk 
<laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe. maybe. <laughs> you know what? You know, you know, okay. Do you have this mm. as well? I go through like sensible phases. You know what I mean? Like I'm going to do adult stuff and be like a sensible person. Like, like I'm going to stop eating McDonald's every day. Um, and then, and then I go through phases where I just degen. I'll go through a sensible phase at some point. Like I should probably get health insurance, but I'm just, I'm not that yet. I'll, like I'm, I'm in my house. Today. I mean, you've been busy. Mm. You've been busy as well. I, uh, I think you're just, you're just having. It's like everything is very intense. You're doing lots of things. Yeah. So I feel like that could, that could be the case. But like whenever you know the time comes to get the health, <laughs> health insurance, and hope you're not getting sick or something happens. Mm. It kind of did already, but. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I feel I feel like for the next little while, I'm like, you know, when you traveled a lot and you're like, I just I'm done for a bit. Like, I just want to stay and get a routine and chill and not yeah. leave my house. That's the kind of phase that I'm in right now. So uh. but that's like it's like a really nice phase. I like that phase a lot. Yeah, it's like yeah. so relaxing and fun and nice. And you feel like everything you're doing when you're doing almost nothing is like so healthy for you. <laughs> I know. It, no, it yeah. is. Because then you get like a stable routine. I mean, my neighbors shone like a like floodlights at my window this morning they also like gave me a noise complaint so um um, oh because you're streaming in the morning mm, and they don't like that so i had to move rooms oh Uh, you had to move rooms because you were like up early yeah because like they have kids i understand but like i don't know what to do you know what i mean like i can't just not stream (laughs) like like I can't just like turn this into an ASMR. I could turn this into an ASMR channel, but I'm not going to turn this into an ASMR channel. So yeah. But when when what time do you start streaming in the morning over there? Six a.m. <laughs> so they yeah. just like wake up at six a.m. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. True, that's not weird though. Isn't that usually when people nor- like wake up to go to work? Isn't that like six seven a.m.? Chat. What time do you guys wake up? I I remember for, for school. I would I would wake up at four thirty. So. Oh, like 4.30 is a lot. <laughs> um, 7 a.m., 7 a.m., 6 to 7. I feel like even if you wake up at 7, being woken up an hour early probably would be annoying. Because you, 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 you're you going to want to wake up as late as you possibly can before you leave, right? 5, 9, 8, 10 a.m. Okay, but okay, I feel like chat isn't a good representation because I feel like a lot of them work from home, right? So I, I feel like, yeah, average person is like 6 or 7. But if it's 7, I can imagine, especially if they have kids. But like still, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I don't know what I, to, do. to be honest, I think that I I don't I think I don't think they have I don't think they can complain. <laughs> Based? <laughs> if I'm going to be completely honest, it's like okay, I don't wake up at 6 a.m. I don't. Mm-hmm. But I should. No, like I should, no, I should, I, I should, and they should too. I think they should. I think everyone should wake up at six a.m. Like, isn't that the goal? No, isn't that the goal though? I feel like, I feel like, honestly, I have a base opinion, but I, I really feel like because I used to wake up at midday, in um, like when I lived in London, because I had to for stream, right? So I just like streamed later. So I streamed at the same time, but it was like really late in the day in England. So like I would stream at night and like live in the night and I'd wake up at midday and I found it so much harder to wake up at midday because like because I didn't end up actually waking up at midday. Right. I ended up waking up like three in the afternoon and it would be dark and it's so horrible waking up as it gets dark. It is so much nicer waking up before it gets light and then seeing the sunlight like I feel like I have so much more energy. I feel like it's much easier to wake up early, but people judge you for waking up late. I'm like, what? I don't get it. If you have the same amount of sleep, if you, but you just sh- shove your routine, people automatically think you're like lazier. It's so weird. Like you know, like one of the one of the more like embarrassing things where you just feel like an absolute loser is when you <laughs> when you wake up by to someone like calling you. And then you check the time and it's like 2 p.m. And you're like, you're, you know, picking it up and you're trying your absolute trying best to not, to not sound like you. Yeah, but... yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. And then, and then if they notice, you know, you're like, 
oh, I just took a nap. <laughs> like, it's not like I just woke up now. It's like, I just took a little nap. I was up earlier this morning. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I have like the worst morning voice, right? So before stream, I have to go like, la, 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 and just like warm up my voice. And like, I do that with phone calls. I'm like, da, 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 da. And I just like speak for a second while it's cooling before I go into the car. <laughs> no, I know exactly what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. I also, okay. When you like travel, because I am, um, I had, I had an incident while I was in my motel. I had an incident mm -hmm. where the cleaning lady, lady walked in on me in the shower. And it's like, what? I put on my, I put on my door, like, like no need to come in or whatever. Right. And, yeah. and she like kept on knocking earlier. And I was like, that's okay. Thank you so much though. And then like, I think she thought I was out and she just walked in on me in the shower. And it's like, what? I don't know. I just, I like being back in my flat now where I know no one's going to walk in. I mean, at my old flat, actually, a guy did come into my flat once. That absolutely terrified me. At like, at like three in the morning, I can't even remember what it was for now. At like three in the morning, this random dude came into my flat because I had like the corridor, right? And then I had like the main room where I streamed and it went onto the kitchen. And um, he like came onto the, like, and I had like my headphones on and it was like, yeah, like three in the morning. And I was just like working, doing something, listening to music. And I just see this random dude at the door. And I think, I think it was like the door was slamming or something. I think it was the door was slamming. I can't really remember, but he was like, excuse me, I can't sleep. The door is slamming. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. But like I screamed, but yeah. Door, door was locked. Door was Why didn't he, what? Why didn't he knock or like ring the bell well, or like, something? He probably did, and I probably didn't hear it because I didn't hear the door knocking yeah. because I had my headphones on. But like, dude, I mean, to be fair, I locked the door after that. It didn't. You know what? He he got what he wanted. He could fall asleep. I felt bad, but like, ah, but yeah. Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah, to be fair, I had some like really dodgy people in my old flat. I can say this now because I'm out. But like, but like, I remember once. I had like this guy knock on my door and um and, and he wanted to come in my flat to get his train. To get what? His train. His train. Yeah. I think he was on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I had yeah, a lot of people doing weird things around there, so this is why I like Australia because nothing like okay, touch wood, nothing, nothing like, like that. that happens. And I feel mm -hmm. like the 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 way I also know that and can see that is because like there's female Uber delivery drivers. Never did I see a female Uber delivery driver when I was in London because they don't, I don't know they don't want to go in like creepy, dark, dingy little flats. You know what I mean? But I feel like they do here because I don't know. There's just a lot less crime. So. Even like Uber pickups when there's like women around. Have you ever had, like, have you had female Uber drivers <laughs> like that picks you up? Yes. Not just like food. Yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's I, also like a good sign. Like you're safe. Yeah, no, that happened. There's, <laughs> this just, area. there's just more women in Australia. <laughs> it's crazy. But um, yeah. Okay. There's no women? No, there's more women. There's like so many. There's more women. women. Yeah. Maybe it's just the area that I'm in. Apparently. Uh, I looked up with chat yesterday. There's 105 men for every 100 women born. How crazy is that? I never realized there is literally more men in the world than women. I guess because women live longer, actually, this about the same. But young men and young women, there's more young men than women. There actually is. Mm -hmm. I never knew that. Okay, um, Melina, I know it's late for you. I don't want to keep you up. We can we can do we can do viewer coolins next time. Or I'm sorry, it's so late. This time zone. No, it's I it's think, like 11 p.m. I think I'm gonna stop waking <laughs> up like an hour earlier to do the podcast because I really don't want to keep you up. Do you want to do coolins or do you want? We can do coolins. We can do coolins. Okay, you want to do coolins? Okay, huh? chat. Yeah, sure. If you have a coolin, uh, could you join coolins on the Discord? So that is my Discord. Um, it is this coolins. It is this this thing right here. So exclamation point Discord. And um, yeah, if you want to ask a question to me or Melina, then um, oh sorry, I just changed the scene. I'm a noob. Um, then join coolins. Okay. Uh, mm. Ah, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm scuffing everyone. I'm sorry, I probably <laughs> scuffed up for you just then as well. Um, okay. Um, Lucky Duck. Hello, hello. Welcome in, Lucky Duck. Ah, uh, you're on mute, by the way. Hello, hello? Hello? 
Hello, how are you? Hi, I'm good, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I just woke up. Oh, it's the lucky duck. Wait, you were you were in my chat earlier. You did not just wake yes. up. <laughs> yeah, you um, were no, in I both just, of my chats earlier. I was actually just <laughs> eating. I was actually just eating. I looked at those and called in. Uh, okay. um, did you take a nap or was this your <laughs> night's sleep? Pulled out, right. <laughs> no, I was literally just chewing on, eating on something, chewing on something, and uh, yeah, anyway. Got caught trolling, okay. Um, <laughs> uh, my question is... What would you like to see as far as um, streamer awards? What type of awards would you like to see that they don't present? Like for me, for instance, I'd like to see like music music awards type stuff. Like there's like, a lot of musicians the out there awards. that are yeah, exactly. There's a lot of musicians out there that are phenomenal. Wait, didn't or maybe they had art? Like yeah, did they, they have yeah, music? But there's so many. No, they don't have music. Um, there's so many streamers out there, the music streamers. They don't even have a lot of followers, but they are so phenomenal. They're they're ten times better than some of these people that are millionaires, famous millionaire musicians and singers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, and that's my thing. I think, you know, I, I would like to see them doing music. Uh -huh. But what would either one of you like to see that, as far as awards are presented, that they don't present at the streamer awards? What about you, Melita? I, to be honest, I don't really watch the streamer awards. I watched it for you. It's true. You know, I was actually, this is like horrible. Just like short third time, okay? I was legit watching like the streamer awards for probably like three hours. And the only reason I was watching is because I wanted Lydia to show up, but she never fucking did. So I just stopped watching. That's the cutest thing I've ever heard in my life. What? No, they, they, I, I did was, an I was, up, I was up until like 5 a.m. just waiting and nothing. Like wow. she just never showed up. And then I was like, I can't do this. I'm sorry, Lydia. That's she was late for an interview and they just didn't put it on. <laughs> I'm gonna remember that. I'm gonna remember that for the rest of the yeah. day. Yeah. Blush Like, I'm no joke. Like, you can ask him. I was up for so long. And I was just like, you know, <laughs> she's watching through everything. Oh, gosh. Yeah. But, um, but I was like, okay, I'm just gonna watch the clip the next day or whatever. <laughs> so it's, it's fine. But <laughs> I, I, I was, I had an interview, right? And, um, mm -hmm. and they didn't put it on. And, um, I don't know where it is. And then, and then <clears throat> Cutie has some interviews on her Patreon, but it's not on the Patreon either. So I'm starting to think that they didn't, they, I don't know, they lost my interview. I don't know where it's gone. <laughs> but, um, so yeah. So, so now Chad doesn't even believe I did an interview, but I did do an interview. Well, that's because you were on Lydia time. You were two hours late for it. So. I was one hour. This should be a Lydia hour. award, okay? I was one what hour I late. Okay, I think, I think <laughs> the, the award that I, okay, this <laughs> I think they should do best mod. I think they should do best Ooh, mod. Oh, that is nice. That would be That is actually sick. pretty nice. No, like, because yeah. moddies do so much and they don't get the recognition. And then you could have, like, and then you could have, like, moddies come to the stream rewards as well. That and they would... get, like, invited, you know, at the table and everything. That's true. Yeah, I actually that's like actually that. a good idea. I like sometimes mm -hmm. I feel like moddies do as much as streamer does sometimes. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I think it should have I best mod. I think CX does a, a lot for you. Yeah. No, CX, you don't even CX does more now. than I do. <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, Doc. I appreciate it. And um, All go right. back thank to you. eating slash sleeping at the same time. Okay. Have a good day. I yeah. Eating. <laughs> okay. Bye. 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 Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. Stray. Stra. Stree. Stree. How do how do you pronounce that? Stree Walker. Oh my God. Are you good? Street Walker. <laughs> Street Walker. What is your uh, What is your coolest? Hey. Hi. Oh. Uh, um. It's curious. Um. Uh, first of all, um. You guys look. You you both look um good 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 today or whatever. But <laughs> Thank you. I'm Thank actually you. from L I'm calling in from L A. And I know that YouTube been. I know I know I, I know has been. I know she's you smiling right too. now. She's like jogging on L A. right now, me. but. You didn't have in and out during the stream at at the stream awards or whatever. You didn't have like I, I'm pretty sure you didn't have the real L LA experience. Hey, I have so many hot takes on in and out. Okay, what are your hot takes on in and out? Uh, 
it's just not that good. So, and you went to Ralph's. You have to you um because uh, Ralph's you have to have like a cl- club card, and then um I have a club card at Ralph's, and you get like double discounts at Ralph's too. Yeah. So I understand the chicken was terrible, but um yeah, but um I thought Ralph's was not really a good um, marketplace. You could have gone to in Hollywood, I guess. Yeah, you um, know what I don't understand about about yeah. America and Australia actually. When people leave, maybe chat, you you guys can help me. Um, I, I'm very confused because when people leave, right, like a, like a shop, a lot of people scan their receipt. And I don't know why they're scanning the receipt. And I always thought they were scanning the receipt yeah. to like check that they weren't like stealing, right? So I would always give the receipt. Yeah. And then every time I've gone into an Australian store and like given the receipt, they're like, not you. I think they're trying to get like <laughs> discounts or like, I don't, um, I normally don't do that, but, um, frugal people, like they, they love that. Like, like, um, it's America, not cool being there used frugal. To be, like, okay, a, it's called being a bargain hunter. Thank you very much. Well, I, I, I don't know. I, I just know that term. I couldn't even, like, I, that's the only term I, I heard on the top of my head. So, uh-huh. okay. Um, <laughs> thank you street. Melina, what are your base opinions on in and out? It's just not that good. I, I've never it's had it. It's just not so that good. It's just like the burgers are okay. It's it's good. Like if you it's pass by you one and you're hungry, it's one, nice. Probably. No, I've had it in Texas. I've had it in several places in LA. It's more like a West part of America thing. The fries are absolute dog shit. Yeah, yeah. The fries are. You have to order. It's really fries. bad. The milkshakes are not very good either. The burgers are okay. There's like three options of burgers, I think. There's like not many of them. There might even be two. I don't know. But there's like not that many options. And it's kind of whatever. It's just not. It's just nothing. It's very overhyped. And I don't know why. Hmm. Well, I can't really speak Mm. because the only place that I went to was Taco Bell. I really should have had oh, proper Mexican it. food, but I didn't. I went to Taco Bell because yeah. it was the only place that I could find. I was walking for like two hours. But um, yeah, thank you, Streetwalker. I appreciate it. And um, right. um, thank you for coming on. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Um, Andrew. Welcome in, Andrew. Hello, hello. You're, uh, you're on mute, by the way. Ciao, Lydia. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, we can hear you. We can hear you. Andrew, what is your cooler? Ciao, Lydia. Ciao, Melina. Ciao. Hello. Hey, just you for, the, for the podcast. Yes, yes. I actually met Melina at uh, Las Vegas for the Twitch one. On where? Twitch one. On where? We met, we met uh, in Vegas for Twitch con. We took the photo together. Oh, we did it? Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> wait, wait. It's like, where? Where? Like, like, where did we take the picture? Because I would probably not remember. But that's cool. Just, just on I'm the floor. You know, I'm ha- I was walking by. Were you laying on the floor? Imagine being Andrew right now. Pain. <laughs> I mean, that's great. I Pain. I'm happy that oh. we took a picture together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was good to meet you. Doesn't remember yeah, you pain. <laughs> okay, okay, Andrew, so my yeah. Question. Yeah. I'm very getting curious about uh, Melina experiences in LA. <laughs> More crazy stories, maybe that she can uh, tell us about. <laughs> A crazy LA story. Mm, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Melina, have you got Something any crazy LA stories? More funny. <laughs> Oh, the question is if I have any crazy LA experiences. Not more, more apart from you know the homeless girl that attacked you. I, something else, something fun. Maybe. Something fun that I've experienced in LA. Oh, oh, hmm. I can't think. That's like so. I can't like come up with anything. I need to like be reminded by something. It's hard to just like Pinkman. Jesse Pinkman from uh, Breaking Bad. I didn't meet him, but I saw him, and he checked out Vertigus, and I was like, ah! Wait, really? Yeah, that's no, he crazy. Was like, he was like on a run because we were at the Hollywood sign, and um, I'm 99 percent sure. Chat says it wasn't him because he lives in Utah, but like, he's a massive fate. Sorry, Andrew, I'm gonna have to put you on mute. You're a little he was there. but um, but like, no, it was him because he's a massive actor, right? So like, it's not that far fetched that he's in Hollywood, but um, but yeah, no, he was like on a run, and he stopped at a water fountain, and he looked up and down, and then he carried him running, and I was like, that's. That's Jesse Pinkman from 
he's not. That's him. Oh my gosh, you shouldn't even see. Like, I would have, like, gone after him, but he was, like, on a run. I didn't want to, like, be annoying. You know what I mean? Run after him. <laughs> he would probably Imagine just run faster. Running after him. Yeah, if me and Bert yeah. just started sprinting, he would probably get scared and sprint away. That well, would be hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, I can't, I can think of any good stories from LA, to be honest. Mm. It, nothing really that cool happened, to be honest. I just, nothing really that cool happened. Did you get high? Because it's, like, legal. No, I don't smoke weed. Mm. I don't like it. So mm. I don't really do it. So that's something I t- haven't really done. I mean, like, I've I, I've done, like, I feel like casual things, like going to raves. I don't know. There's just, like, things. But nothing that sticks out like crazy. I feel like when I travel to other places, something crazy has always happened, but not LA. Mm. Never LA. <laughs> Unless it's, like, scary. Unless it's like scary stuff, which is not fun. <laughs> like the one story with the homeless lady with blood all over her that was like hunting me. That was that was scary. But otherwise, nothing, nothing too wild. You know, I could walk around in downtown and be yeah, like they could be like zombies following me around. Like that's what it feels like a little bit, but like nothing too exciting. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, well, thank you, Andrew. I appreciate it. And um, yeah, I feel like that just some. I don't know. It Thanks, doesn't sweet. sum up, but like. Yeah, me either. Nothing that crazy really happened. No, I feel like it just is, nothing really that crazy happens. Everything is so expensive that like it makes you not want to do things as much. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, like I don't want to go to the, the, I don't know Santa Monica when it's a hundred dollar Uber to go to Santa Monica. I went once, but like I couldn't like go to the beach every day. You know what I mean? From Hollywood because like getting around is so expensive. Okay. Um. Shahid, welcome to Shahid. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Why are you blue bell, Shahid? Why not? Okay. Um, Shahid, what is your call in? <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to ask uh, this is happens in big communities, which is like there are like two type of people that are kind of removed from the community, right? That are like bad people. There are like some people who are really weird parasocial. How would you deal with those sort of people going forward if they find yourself, like find themselves in your community? Okay, so how would so you, how deal you deal with those? Melina with like... It's not, not like stalker kind of people. They are like pretty straightforward to remove. More like, you know, people who are there, they want to date you, but they are not across that physical barrier line. Okay, so how would you stop. deal with people that cross the line, but don't cross the line? <laughs> okay, how would you yeah, deal yeah, with... It's a weird question, I know, but like... People you, that make you uncomfortable, but don't like do anything like stalk you, I guess. Yeah. Like people in chat or people in real life? People in chat. Or people in yeah, the people community. In community. Uh, yeah. I think I us- I personally just say like, hey, you're being a little weird. Just make sure to like think about that. That don't be as weird. Kind of like that's just it. If they just don't say. stop, it's kind of like, hey, this is not really the vibe yeah. here. So we're going to ban you. <laughs> I, I don't know. I feel like it's pretty yeah. straightforward. I feel like if someone is making the yeah. more uncomfortable, like if someone made me uncomfortable, I would just ban them. I feel like there are always people that like don't like other people or like yeah there's there's always there's always mm-hmm. like people that don't get on that well with other people but I just try and stay out out of it like if someone makes me uncomfortable like if someone if someone actively does something to make me uncomfortable then like that's my decision but I feel like I feel like if other people try and say things for other people um I try and stay out of it as much as possible like if 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 something is actually making me uncomfortable I'll deal with it myself but um, thank you, Sheet. I appreciate it. Bye. Yep. Thank you for the question. Bye. Okay. Bye. Um, let's have Blitz. Hello. Hello. Hey, can you hear? Hello. Yeah, we can hear you. Blitz, what is your call in? Hey, uh, maybe kind of a boring question, but I always like to know um, for each of you, what's what's your favorite book that you've ever read? Um, like a life-changing book and why did it change your life? I have like a quick, yeah, I have like the answer right away. <laughs> okay, what is your answer? The Lord of the Rings is my favorite. 
it always will be so close to my heart and it has changed my life to the better. Or here's the thing. It was like in the beginning of my life. My Lord of the Rings journey took place early in my life. So it has formed me as a person to the better. Mm. It just is the best stories, best books, best movies of all time. There's like just nothing better than Lord of the Rings. It's just the best. I could, if I, if I could pick where I die, you know, or like I go to heaven, heaven would be Middle Earth. It would, I would just, I would just pick that over anything else. It's just the best. I just love it so much. Yeah. And why it's changed me? It's so wholesome and it has so much, you know, good messages about life. The characters are absolutely wonderful. Like, who does not love Gandalf? Gandalf is just like this wise man that just tells you that everything will be okay. And sometimes today, whenever something sucks, I just think about what would Gandalf have said? And he would have said, only you get to decide what to do with the time that is given to you. And I just think about that every single day. The Lord of the Rings is perfect. I love it. I wish I had an answer like that. You know what? I read I read the first Lord of the Rings book. It was amazing. But um, yeah, I want to read the rest. Okay. Okay. Sue me. I listened to it on Audible. Sue me. But I was very good. <laughs> I, would, I would like to listen to the rest of them. Um, books. Books. I read, I read um, Harry Potter. I read like four of them. Uh, they were pretty good. Um, <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. I don't know if a book has ever changed my life. I want to give like a good like sentiment. I've, I have. I used to read a lot as a kid. I actually did. But I don't think any of the like random teenage romance, like little teenage books that I used to read really changed my life that much. Um uh i read well my dad had how to win friends and influence people when i was younger and i read that and it told me not to babble so much but like i don't know i'm a streamer so i kind of just babble a lot <laughs> in real life i am a very good listener yeah and i ask people of the questions and i do stuff like that <laughs> but what am i gonna do you those the, the things that apply when you're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with someone do not apply when you're like babbling and streaming you know what i mean so it's different um i just sound i sound like the dumbest person ever if i say notebook has changed my life don't i i feel like i have to give an answer the notebook uh, no 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 book no book has changed my life <laughs> you say the notebook <laughs> i just sound like a book but if i'm being completely life. honest i've liked a lot of books but i feel like no one book's like wow this has changed me as a person Ah, oh, chat, give me a random book so I can give a deep, meaningful reason of why it's changed yeah. my life. Um, <laughs> I, 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 Harry Potter. I'm sorry, it's hard. When I, when I just stole the best book <laughs> ever made, I'm sorry. You, like, you can't top yeah. it. You already know that The Lord of Rings is the best book ever. So, and it's I good. already stole, like, the entire thing about it. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's good. It, it is good. Um, I, uh, Romeo yeah. and Juliet, I did that for English Lit. And I realized that, um communication is important for a healthy relationship so you don't die um frankenstein i also read frankenstein um it taught me i don't know don't judge a book by its cover i don't no book has changed my life okay like the, the, there's good what about books. a cooking book what about a cooking book I, <laughs> I think i think staying away from the kitchen would change my life more melina it would it would save my life um <laughs> I don't think a cookie was changed my life. I'm literally <laughs> trying to think of anything here. It's the same with movies. I don't know. I don't think one single thing like that has changed my life. Um. Uh. In spectacles. Can I, can I make it easier? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. So. So maybe not change your life, but like maybe change how you thought about something like. Um, OK, you know what? I'm actually like going to say in spectacles. Your, your yeah. perspective or whatever. Because, because in Inspector Cools, right, he talks about how, um, how there's this girl called Eva Smith and every single person in the family had been like had had an interaction with Eva, Eva Smith and um like had been mean to her and it caused her eventually to like kill herself in the end and it's like really sad but it goes to show how like every interaction you have with someone like changes their 
day or like changes their life. You know what I mean? And if that adds up enough, that can have like a serious impact in someone's life. So be nice. I was nice before that though. Just, it, well, that was, it didn't change, but that also reminded me to be nice. Yeah, that's my book. <laughs> Thank you, Blair. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Thank you. That was oh, a good question. I love the question. That sound really dumb. <laughs> I, I, read, I, re I read books. <laughs> I, not so much anymore, but I used to read books. I do. You just, you know what? I would have stolen your answer if you didn't go first. That's what I'm saying. That's that's legit. It. Mm -hmm. Don't blame me. <laughs> okay, shall we have one more? Maybe mm -hmm. pursue, mm -hmm. pursue. Hello, pursue. Hello. 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 How are you? What is your coolant? Um, really good today. Um, my calling. Um, well, I don't really know what. I have to say here, but I do have a question, like, I'm trying to, to get a job, so do you have, like, any tips when I go on a job interview, maybe? Okay, um, wh where your, where your, uh, interview at? Why would mm -hmm. you like this position, Pursue? Um, I would like this position because I need to get our funds and I'm very motivated to work at your company to do so gather funds so does that mean that you want to quit when you've gathered the funds well i'm uh, applying for the temporary position at the company I'm, I'm not applying for the career option here so um i i would like to help you out temporarily uh and continue my studies in the meantime yeah hey what about this one what is your your biggest weakness that's a classic work question that they all My get. My biggest weakness? Mm -hmm. um, hmm, that's a that's a difficult one. I would have <laughs> I to say... I haven't got one, I'm, Giga Chad. Uh... <laughs> I no, just I have don't. a lot of weaknesses, but I, but I don't want the company to know that I have a shit, shit ton of weaknesses, right? So, I'm like, too hard you working. You have to say something. Like, that's yeah, always yeah, the yeah, answer. Yeah, I just work too hard. I'm a I just work too hard. Right? Yeah. yeah, I'm a perfectionist. I work too hard. I overwork myself. Mm -hmm. All right, All right. So I have to say, like that that type of shit. So I, I everyone can't be does. Like... It's so funny. No one is no one is honest when it comes to that question. Really? Everyone Nobody's answers honest? it that way. Everyone answers it just like that. Every but, single but like, mm -hmm. don't they chart people like know that that's just basically the the normal answer? Okay, what like... what would you say, Pursue? What mm -hmm. is your biggest weakness? Um, I would have to say that I'm very focused on details but like i i can't let things go if if it's not perfect like so you're actually. a perfectionist is that actually true <laughs> yeah yeah He's actually gonna... like, <laughs> right i, I, okay. I could get like really fucking frustrated the problem is that they, like, yeah i need bullshit things so they're yeah. literally they're literally going to think they were like <laughs> when mm -hmm. you say that yeah that's the same answer as do the you have like people do you have like a mental illness that you can see <laughs> Yeah, but but I mean, like I think people be like, yeah. Every day so is I'm, pain. Uh, I cry myself to sleep every so... single night. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I have don't anything mean... else in my life than work. Yeah. <laughs> Please give me this job. I I I'll, I'll literally I'm cry nothing. every single day if you don't. <laughs> yeah. 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 That that kind of feels like you know uh, not to get hired. You know, like. Mm. Okay. Um. Yeah, no, here where do you ice. where do you see yourself in <laughs> ten years? I see myself uh, as a researcher, uh, doing research in the wild. It's basically the dream. Okay, so, uh, is that has that got anything to do with the com company? Is that what the company does? Uh, not, not, not really. No, no. I, no, I, no, I feel really. like I feel like you should big them up. I feel like, you know, I would say I want to be your little. Um, <laughs> I, I want to be a middle manager. Some some bullshit like that. Is that um, something I have to say? I want to be working for you and doing everything in my power to make your job as easy as possible. Um, in 10 years, I see myself next to you when I've helped you become CEO of the company. I'm yeah. basically say I'm going to be the Elon Musk of the company. Yeah. No, because they don't, they don't want to feel no, 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 threatened. They don't want to feel threatened. You know what I mean? What if like, yeah. what if like, what if like, you're gonna take that job? No, no, no. You are literally just like 
their little you just like oh yeah i'm gonna help you, little b- you i'm want. gonna be a b- and i'm gonna do everything you ask me to yeah yeah <laughs> say that yeah okay <laughs> thank you for you i appreciate it very much yeah, I, right. I appreciate i appreciate you asking us um good luck uh, about what, work uh, because about we work. <laughs> definitely very experienced hard workers we have like the hardest job in the whole world yes. so i we we understand why you would ask us about this. I appreciate I mean, honestly, that you think that like, we could do that. It, it sounds like you guys have experience and you guys know what, what people want, you know? <laughs> so that's something that, that you know, makes it We're We're basically that. cult leaders and we're all just manipulating our chats into yeah. liking us. Every single thing that we say is a big plan. It's a little much. cult. Yep, that's the only reason you're yeah. right now, because of our cults. Yep. All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bye, Pazir. I, I appreciate it, cult leaders. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay, Melina, I'm really sorry that um, it's so late, but um, I've had a good time. I, it's, it's pretty fine. Yeah, it was super fun. I'm happy that we're back doing the podcast. I miss it we so We still much. have so much to talk about. That's you the thing. Know, I feel like there's so much more we can, ch- we can chat about. I know. But that's always the case. And it's like, so. <laughs> I, I got recognized the most from our podcast out of everything at the stream rewards that is wild no 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 no, no. who like i got i (laughs) i am known melina as your friend (laughs) no like literally i am known as your friend i had three different people come up and they're like wait you're melina's friend right I'm so curious uh, who said that. Okay, I, I want to know who said now. I don't expose. Okay, I don't expose. Can you them. like type it to me? I'm so curious. Okay, I'm so curious okay, I'll type it to you afterwards. I'll type it to you afterwards. But um, yeah, three times yeah. I was like, wait, you're Melina's friend, right? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah. No, it's crazy how many like how many people see the podcast. It makes me nervous, but um, yeah, I appreciate everyone. I think that, that's like, so pushes. fun. That's so exciting. That makes me feel like we can we can make the podcast even bigger. I know. Maybe one day we can do it IRL. That would be so cool. Imagine that we can do be, it IRL. I know. I, I, I said I'm pretty sure I might not be going to Rotterdam just because I just love routine, but then it is a long way away. Also, it is. Stan Clancy. Right, so you know I said that I like announced TwitchCon Rotterdam like with him on the stream. Um, he, he like he, he saw me twice at the stream rewards and both times he was like see you at Rotterdam and I was like <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> so um it's so far it's like how many months is it in four, Ju- it's July right I think it's four. so it's March April it four. May June July it's like six months right six months it is in it, it is in no it's in June it's in June so five five months yeah you know what my mind changes day to day my mind like i don't know but i i, I don't want to if we could do it at, oh i don't know i don't, I don't want to yeah you know what i mean i want to i want to be in a routine for a little bit but honestly after five months i might just be like let's go <laughs> <laughs> but like Yo, you can easily just go to Europe and you can do that you can do TwitchCon you can also like go visit your family and friends mm-hmm. in the UK for like mm-hmm. a week or so because it's like summertime anyway so it's fun and nice True. and awesome oh my gosh and the so days it's, it's are just so not long bad. I'm gonna I'm gonna miss Europe summers because like it's nice here all year round right because it's never like got really short days but like it's never got really long days like I'm still getting used to in my mind because it's like it's like 5 p.m right out uh, like outside like when it is 5 p.m and i'm like walking around and then it, the sun sets and it's dark by like 6 30 and i'm like what like i'm not used to it because normally when it's really sunny in europe it's dark it's like dark really really late you know what i mean so um and then i get bitten by those mosquitoes <laughs> but um yeah no it would be sick to do this in person i do have a crippling fear of public speaking as you probably no oh from- so they want they want you to do that at twitch if we did it if we did a podcast in public i would oh yeah true mm-hmm. i would like mess up pretty bad but like i want to put myself out of the comfort zone like i'm never gonna say no you know what i mean i'm just gonna say yes and then i'm just gonna like get scared for like an entire month fumble through the entire thing but like you know what i mean it's still putting yourself out of the comfort but, like, zone but we could we could chat but we could also like have guests come in we can have mm. like several guests, mm-hmm. so it's it's just gonna be us talking to other people. Yes, we we know we, we, we could do something like that. Have guests on, okay? Chat, yeah. If you guys um like have any guests in mind to have on, because we were thinking about having some guests mm-hmm. on, then um please mm-hmm. let us know and um 
yeah maybe we could maybe we could have a guest next week or the week after or... i don't know it'd be very cool yeah i think so we just need to we need to get the the new frame for three yes, people yes yes no yeah yeah i have um lyrical made this for us and it's very mm-hmm. blog and i'm oh, sure that's awesome. make, like, that is so one. nice also that they make that yeah i know that's so nice it's insane like, it's like really nice artwork is insane but um yeah thank you melina so much for coming on thank you so um, much for i hope hanging you have a good out. night <laughs> Yeah, you too. Have a good day. Yeah. No, it's so <laughs> a weird. beautiful day. I, I hope you get some sun later. At midday. How mm-hmm. weird is that? I have like the whole day and it like it's just weird. Like I'm used to I getting up like, at two in the morning. I'm, I'm always thinking I wanna do that. I almost wanna like get up at like seven and like start streaming at eight and just like, stream for, until noon. It's That'd so be nice. so nice. That's like the one of the main <sighs> reasons that I moved to Australia because I get daylight and then I can like because like I, obviously I do things after stream, but like I can be outside like on my balcony, like getting my vitamin D while I do it. And it's like it's a it makes life a lot nicer, I trust. <laughs> I, I bet. I believe that. Chat, get Melina yeah, to come uh, to Australia. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I will. I want to um, go. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon after stream. And um, yes, have an amazing day. Of course, Bye. yeah, you too. Bye. Shit. <laughs>